Welcome back to Product 320. This is our segment clip, an infamous object. Um, it's often viewed as just being quite easy and straightforward. This thing can be a complete nightmare. Uh, we're going to go through this in a way uh, that makes it seem easy, I hope. Uh, first, we're going to go through fairly quick uh, because it doesn't have to be crazy. Set the units to inch and then calibrate this guy. Uh, just look for the largest dimension. We've got probably this one here, which is about uh, two and a quarter. And we'll move that into the right spot. Uh, I'm going to put this part right here at the origin. Uh, why? Because this is what I want to use for my original extrudes. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, we're just going to be getting a feel for this here. Uh, just keep an eye on that to make sure we got that right. And create a sketch. Start with a rectangle, off angle. Then I'll go from the origin out. And just do a test uh, dimension here. 0.5, looks about right. This guy here is one, one and a quarter. I'm gonna get rid of this canvas here just for a second. Uh, just turn off its visibility. I want to add that piece, fill in this gap here. Uh, again, hovering just to get a, an alignment. It doesn't create a constraint, but it gives me chance to uh, figure out what's going on. Making this uh, construction allows me to get a good profile. And let's see what we've got here. One half, one half. Uh, what we could do here is if we want to go ahead here and create some parameters. Uh, smaller. I'm going to go ahead here and go for thick. Thickness of the part, 0.5. Uh, and we could also, look if we wanted to go ahead here and kind of get this all sorted out. The length or the arm or the thickness, it's all the same. Uh, so we call it our depth, uh, 1.25. Okay, so we've got two things to use here if we wish. Uh, losing some of my stuff here. Just get this so we can see what's happening. Linear dimension, this is thick. And this is depth. Make sure that's correct. Oh. One a quarter. Yeah, so we can see here we've got one a quarter, which is better known as uh, five quarters, five eighths is half of that, and then half of that again is five sixteenths. So this is all manageable. Let's go ahead here. I find this canvas gets in the way. We can see this is controlled here, uh, but are we? Yeah, so we don't have an angle yet. Let's go ahead here and give it an angle. That's 45. And then we've got some lines. Uh, I'm going to use uh, dimensions to control this uh, just for a change. So this is our depth. By two. And this distance between here is depth. One by four. Let's make sure we've got the right five sixteenths. That looks right. There we go. So uh, all that's missing here is this. Uh, we can use this is uncontrolled. Uh, we can use again our parameter or just go with an equals. Uh, visually and intent wise, it's more obvious. I think sketch one is fully constrained. And we'll finish that and give it a name, the usual layout. Extrude. Taps. Ah, wrong way. Should go down, right? This goes down. So let's go ahead and fix that. So it's not depth so much as where did our taps go? Minus depth, 
perfect. Now, let's go ahead here and do another extrude, which is to create this little step here or notch. That goes down minus depths again, but divided by two. Oh. <laughs> let's skip that. Uh, minus depth divided by two. Hit the wrong button there. There we go. Now this is where the fun commences. We the temptation here is to go ahead and make a new uh, part. Uh, but where do we put the sketch, right? So there's all this dilemma here. Uh, what's going on? How do we do this? What we can actually use is a move. Uh, and if we're careful, how we click, we can do a move with a copy. Let's go ahead and try that. So it's upside down though. So we have to be a little bit worried about that. Let's go for move first. Bodies. Let's pick the body. It doesn't matter where we pick because we're going to move this. Uh, turn on create copy while you're at it. Sometimes it disappears, you can't get it back. So this is the body we want to move, but we see here we want to move it 60 degrees, but one inch up in space. Set pivot, put it at the back, see. Move it up, one inch, accept. Get it right, correctly oriented. So look at it almost from the bottom here. Notice we get what we want, 60 degrees. Now, we've got two now, but this is facing the wrong way. One thing that's interesting about the move command is if you reset the pivot, it resets the dialogue in a way, which is great. Put it on, say, the middle of this guy. Go to the same orientation. Oh, make sure you accept the set pivot, green check, then rotate it 180. Look at it kind of from the right. <laughs> nice, perfect. We do need another sketch. We need a sweep here. Uh, loft and all that stuff doesn't really work. So what we're gonna have to do, uh, it goes a little bit out of kilter, but that's okay. Cause we're usually we want to put as much the sketch in the first spot as possible. I'm gonna actually project some sketch line of the vertex. There we go. So project those two guys, arc, three point arc, connect those together. Oh, I missed it. It's not, there we go. And then I want it to be, if I make this vertically above, it should, <laughs> if I do it without anything pre-selected, if I put this vertically above, it should give us fully defined uh, sketch. Nice. So let's just rename this, sweep path, and then do a sweep. Make sure join is on perpendicular. We want obviously not parallel, but perpendicular join should have one body. Nice. And there we go. That is an ultra fast pass at the old segment clip. Again, you haven't struggled with this, so it's not really, uh, in, it's not intimidating because you haven't tried to do this, but this is uh, one way to do it. Uh, it's the most efficient way I've come across so far. Uh, and this is the infamous segment clip done in two sketches, one, two, three, four, five features. Uh, I've seen it done in as many as 12 or 13 features and a ton of sketches. So let's just see what we've ended up here with. Uh, there we go. Give it a, have a look at the uh, properties here. Where are we? Properties, there we go. Uh, let's see, physically, I want uh, the volume to be exactly 2.494 and, and no deviation is allowed here because this is exact. So 2.494, just writing it down, uh, cubic inches. There we go, that's what we'll be looking for. 
thanks for watching and 2.494 am i getting this right yes over to you